Anne Jeffries as Marion Kirby, the ghostess with the mostess. Robert Sterling as George Kirby, that most sportive spirit. And Leo G. Carroll, host to said ghosts as... Topper. I had a feeling I was being followed. Something's on your mind, Topper, darling. Unburden yourself. Yeah, come on, old man. We may be ghosts, but uh, our hearts are in the right place. Yes, you might be able to help. It's Henrietta's birthday on Monday. Oh. And I'm in a bit of a quandary. Well, you don't know how old she is? He doesn't know what to buy for her, dear. Oh. You know, I, I go through this every year. Well, that shouldn't be any problem. Women love pretty things. Little baubles, trinkets. Why don't you buy her a Cadillac convertible? A $6,000 trinket? Mm-hmm. Out of the question. Besides, I don't think Henrietta wants a car. Well, if she doesn't want one, we do. Come on, let's go buy a car. Oh, wait, wait, wait just a minute, dear. You just don't rush out and buy a car. You have to decide what make you want. Now, I just happen to have no cars. I couldn't begin to spend that kind of money. Well, uh, how much could you spend? Oh, 30 or 40 dollars? Oh, why don't you add a few dollars and buy a Lincoln? A few dollars? Dear Marion, I wish you'd forget about cars and concentrate on something less expensive and more attractive as a present. Well, let's see. Oh, I know. What about a nice gold-filled charm bracelet? That's something you certainly can afford. Afford? Yes. A Ford may not be a Cadillac, but it's a mighty fine car. Come on, let's go. Now, wait, wait just a minute, dear. Sit down. He said to forget about cars. Get, get cars off your mind. Just think of a nice, cheap Buick. I mean, present. I'm afraid you two have got cars on the brain. I can see you're not going to be much help. Wait a minute, Topper. Why not get a little... I have it. I know exactly what to get. Uh, how about a little foreign car? Yeah. I'm going to buy Henrietta a peignoir. Oh, that's a nice little foreign car. And does it have wire wheels? A peignoir is a negligee, you illiterates. No. I think I'll call Thelma. She'll help me to pick out something. Oh, what's the matter with me? I can help you pick one out. Yeah, me too. Now, listen, we'll stop at the lingerie shop on our way down to the automobile showroom. No. Good afternoon, sir. Would you like to see something in a bathing suit? Uh, well, if you don't mind my staring at you. Do you like that little number? Extraordinarily lifelike. We keep them in all colors and sizes. Are you looking for something for your wife? Well, uh, I, I'm not quite sure if you don't mind my looking around. Certainly, sir. Just take your time. How'd you do? Oh, my. What a lovely place. Why have you come here? I told you not to follow me. We didn't follow you. We rode down with you. Now, if you had another car, we could I don't want to hear any more about cars. Take Marion and get out of here. I'm embarrassed enough as it is. Say, this is kind of cute. Do you think Henrietta would like this? Hey. You're not going to keep on ruining my life. I beg your pardon, sir. I, uh, I just wanted to make certain they weren't swayed. My wife is allergic to, uh, uh goat hair. That outfit is pressed nylon. I could murder you. A little late for that, isn't it? Well, I'm getting out of here. Hold it, Topper. You can't drive without these. Hey, give me my car. Now, please, you, you car thief. Just a minute and let Marion finish her shoplifting. I mean, shopping. Isn't it a honey? I got it for nothing. You stole it? Well, don't blow a gasket. If you want to be so ethical about it, you can pay for it. I'm going to try it on. Oh, would you like to come along, Topper, my love? You must be mad. I'd better come along. Just what are you trying to do, sir? Um, the samba. I, uh, I don't seem to be able to get the hang of it. This is a lingerie shop, not a dance hall. Oh, oh, I, I'm sorry. And this is our brand new model, made of Yucatan sailcloth. Not sure, either. Stop stealing that. 
I beg your pardon. Oh, it's, it's quite all right. George, I said stop it. What size is Henrietta Ware? Oh, how should I know? Put it back. Bigger than her, would you say? Yes. No, I don't know. Oh, uh, did you drop this? <coughs> Miss Birdwell! Miss Birdwell! I'll I, I take this. Come on, old man, you've caused us enough trouble already. I forgot something. What seems to be the trouble, madam? Well, that man is molesting me. Yes, I've had my eye on him. Call the vice squad, Miss Titus. <laughs> oh, thank you, darling, for me. No, it's for Henrietta. Please go. Well, where's mine? George! <laughs> police! Help, police! I think we better run home. Have you seen our car? It's disappeared. It's not in here. And Mr. Topper should have been home an hour ago. Where do you suppose he can be? He's not in here either. Though it wouldn't surprise me to see him pop out of a vase. Perhaps he's shopping for a birthday present for me. Thank you, darling. Hello, dear. You're an hour late. Daylight saving, dear. <coughs> Daylight saving ended weeks ago. Not for me. I go right on saving it. You know, for a rainy day. <coughs> Topper, tell Katie to stop dusting Neil. Katie, stop dusting Neil. Uh, I mean, <laughs> stop dusting uh, nearly seven o'clock. You can finish in here later on. I've just finished now, sir. I wonder what's wrong with Katie. She's behaving rather queerly. Oh, nothing unusual, dear. She almost was rather vague. Cosmo. Where have you been? A top of where, George? Uh, I don't know. You don't know where you've been? Well, certainly I know where I've been. You don't suppose he's eloped with that, that brave and dummy, do you? Well... Where have you been? Topper, answer me. Stop hounding me. Cosmo, are you keeping something from me? Where have you been? Well, uh, I, um... Did you take the car? Uh, yes, that's it, dear. I, I took the car to be lubricated. Oh, it was just lubricated last week. Uh, yes, I know. Uh, uh, that was just the chassis. This time I'm getting to work on the, uh, you know, the joints. Why didn't you take me with you? I, I didn't think you needed lubricating. <laughs> Don't be facetious, Cosmo. When will the car be ready? Oh, a couple of hours. Maybe longer. What's that? Hmm? Why, there's our car now. Cosmo, it looks like there's nobody at the wheel. Yes, dear, the garage man is very short. Probably completely hidden by the dashboard. It seemed like there was a tall woman sitting next to him. Oh, that's his wife. He married for contrast. She helps as a mechanic. She looked undressed. Oh, she probably had her flesh-colored overalls on. What was that? Well, that was Katie. She must have jumped right out of her bath to answer the door. That's Sorry about leaving you alone, old man. I thought you were in the car. Cosmo, that's not Katie. It's a dummy. You know, dear, I believe you're right. How did it get in here? I, I had it sent. You had it sent? Yes, the outfit is a present for you. How sweet of you. Why did they send the mannequin? Oh, that's a special bonus. Anniversary. Whose anniversary? Hers. Hers. I mean, the stores. Oh, it's... Very lovely. But you know, my birthday isn't until Monday. You should have had them deliver it then. Oh, that's only one present, dear. I'm giving you something else for your birthday. Why don't you run upstairs, dear, and try the things on? Right now? Yes, certainly. I know this suit will fit. I'll, I'll just take the cape. Hey, where is she going with that? Stop her, Talbot. That's mine. Oh, do be quiet. I've had enough trouble as it is. I've had to promise her another present. Oh, Henriette always gets everything. Yes, you can have this. <gasps> Thank you, darling. 
As for you, where have you been with my car? For two hours. Yeah. I, uh, I had a little business to attend to regarding transportation. You mean another C-A-R? What's the for all? I'm not buying another car. Oh, but darling. Never argue with a penny pincher, dear. Especially if you happen to be a penny. Come on, honey. Mrs. Topper has a new bathing suit, Katie. Oh, Mr. Topper. It's all right, Katie. You can look. It's only the model from the store. I don't care where she works. You should both be ashamed of yourselves. <laughs> Henrietta. Oh. Have that little drink before dinner, hmm? Cosmo. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ask which one she likes best. Which one do you like best? What do you mean, which one do you like best? Don't hurry me, Cosmo. I knew it was you all the time. Oh? Who was me? Help me decide. Where did you find these? All over the house. Did you hide any more? Hundreds. Oh, Cosmo, I don't know which one to choose. Yes, you're, you're so right, dear. We, uh, we mustn't rush into things. We should think it over for a while. Uh, take time, you know, say, um, well, a year or two. Two years? What for? Well, you know, better market. Prices going down. All right, Cosmo. If you think it wiser. Oh, much wiser. It goes time to look into the situation. Collect more pamphlets. Here you are, Papa, darling. Now you won't need any time at all. Cosmo, I haven't even seen these. Oh, when you've seen one, you've seen them all. Henrietta, look at this one. Cosmo, it's coming out. <laughs> yes, dear, all the new models are coming out now. If so long, you can back into another car two blocks away. I'd never be able to park this one. Here's when you don't even have to park. You can just carry it with you. Where did this come from? Um, France. That's it, Egypt. It's called the, uh, I think it's Sphinx. <laughs> That's your opinion. Well, let's see your opinion, Carl. Oh, Cosmo, let's not wait. But, uh, uh, Henrietta, dear, with prices going up... You said they were going down. Well, the market fluctuates from minute to minute. Just as I thought, they're going up. Boy, is he stubborn. Cosmo, I have a wonderful idea. Hmm? And a money saver, too. What? Why don't we buy a second-hand car? No! If you do that, I'll leave home. Well, that's not a bad idea. Oh, thank you, darling. I'm so excited. We can go to a used car lot first thing in the morning. Uh, uh, what? Yes. George, I don't want an old second-hand car. Well, you'll have a little trouble finding a new second-hand car. We'll make Copper use it. We'll drive his. <laughs> Those two of these. What are you doing? I'm wrapping them for you. Must be jovial Jerry. You sure look happy. Must have been an accident down the street. Uh oh. Customers. At last, Topper and Henrietta. George, 1911. Yeah, that's the year the car was made. Pretty well kept. Hmm. He's a crook. He raised the price. And I thought your sign said, honesty is our policy. Hmm. This policy just lapsed. Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I, uh, I thought I'd like to look at a car. Well, sir, you've come to the right place. Oh, no, you didn't, Topper. Oh, you here? Yes, sir. Here today and here tomorrow. Personal service from Jovial Jerry. Go away, Topper. He's as phony as a ten-dollar bill. You mean a three-dollar bill? I can raise prices, too. What do you have in mind? <laughs> well, well um, 
Don't listen to him, Topper. You just don't want to second-hand car. But I do, dear. It was my idea. And a very good idea, I must say. <laughs> now, uh, this car is our most popular model. It's practically new, and we've just slashed the price. Oh, go wash out your mouth with soap. He <laughs> raised the price, Topper, the minute he saw you. Believe me. Uh, isn't that price a bit high for a used car? Don't worry, Topper. By the time we get finished with Jovi and Jerry, the price isn't the only thing that'll be slashed. Wait till you have a look at it yourself, sir. Of course, this is our demonstration model. Ready? Ready. Isn't it a beauty? And believe me, it's well made. <laughs> Everything's going up these days. <laughs> Now, for one thing, this car has push-button doors. <laughs> Must be locked. Hold your side, George. It's good looking, isn't it? Wait. <laughs> Never did that before. Well, as long as you're here, you may as well have a look at the motor. Now, uh, take a look at this carburetor. There's a special thing. Yeah, I knew that. I can't hear a word he's saying either. Speak up, old man. Get it up, will you? What's the idea of slamming that hood down on my head? I think it was a charming idea. My husband didn't touch that hood. Don't tell me. <laughs> I guess I can take a joke as well as the next fellow. <laughs> they don't call me Jovial Jerry for nothing. <laughs> I thought there must be a reason. I'll see if I can find the keys for the door. Take over, Topper. They'll open now. No bother about looking for a key. Cosmo, how did you do that? Well, they don't call me Cosmo Topper for nothing. I'll demonstrate the car for you, sir. You get in, Cosmo. You know much more about these things than I do. Well, hold that a minute. Oh, Now, sir, notice the panoramic vision on this car. Just look out through that windshield. You can see for miles. <laughs> what in blazes? Like rain. Nonsense, Cosmo. The sun is shining. Not in here. <laughs> Foot release must have been left off. Now, this is a very special feature for the ladies. Automatic windows. <laughs> Turn that off. Turn what off? <laughs> uh, especially for the ladies, dear. Cosmo, I think maybe we should look at another car. There's nothing wrong with this car, madam. Oh! <laughs> come, come, sir. I haven't got all day. Get the bugs out of this car in no time. Bugs in the car? Now I know I don't want it, Cosmo. Well, just a mechanical expression, dear. That's right, madam. Now, the main thing about this car is its drivability. Notice the play in between. <laughs> I'd rather you drove. I hope you get the bug out of that one. Cosmo, please, let's look at another car. As a matter of fact, I, I'm not sure I want a convertible. Madam, you've never seen a convertible top like this one. Why, a child could work it. Well, we haven't any children. It's as light as a feather. Right down from there. They don't call me gorgeous George for nothing. Hey, George! George, let me down. Get busy. Uh, 
I'm certainly glad we haven't got any children. I, uh, I think perhaps we'd better try one of these other cars. Oh, I don't know. I'm getting rather attached to this car. It has so many unique features. Cosmo, you come right out of there. Oh, very well, dear. I think I've won the door prize, dear. You danced divinely. If anything else happens to this car, I'll shoot myself. How's that for service? Uh, shall we, um... Can we look at another car now? Please, please, go away. Try this car, Talbot. I never lost so much money on one sale. Keep smiling. Oh, God, boy, oh, isn't it wonderful? A car of my own. That's what you think. Ah! Uh, it's my wife. She was always a backseat driver. 